Dartboard lighting systems that work with soft tip boards, part one. Starting with what I'm calling your best value option, the 180 Illumina lighting system. Quick clarification, you cannot purchase the cheaper light version, L-I-T-E, light, because it's magnetic and requires a steel tip dartboard to attach to it. So that's out. But the more durable and robust normal Illumina lighting system is going to work since it mounts to the wall instead of attaching to the dartboard itself. All you gotta do is buy the lighting system and from here, soft tippers have two options. Number one, you can just use the L bracket that comes with the system, but only if your soft tip dartboard doesn't require mounting to the wall in the center like this U-shaped bracket here by Grand Darts, because the vertical Illumina bracket is gonna become a barrier to that. But say you're not using the puck in the center, the Illumina bracket does work perfectly because you're screwing in three places around the edges of the board where they won't interfere with your vertical bracket. Which leads to option number two, just ditch these components altogether and purchase the separate Illumina mounting kit it's gonna simplify this whole process. It allows for any soft tip dartboard to work with the Illumina light since you're mounting this little rectangular bracket to the wall directly above the board. It's only a couple bucks extra and way easier to measure the proper height to place the light. So just go with the 180 Illumina lighting system plus the Illumina mounting kit. If you wanna to upgrade to the ultimate setup, we'd recommend the Target Corona Vision lighting system plus conversion kit that is compatible with most grand boards and the Darts Live 100s and 200s. Pros include the fact that this is basically a zero installation option. No power tools are needed. You're not mounting the light to the dartboard or the wall. You just assemble the legs to the light when you buy it. And then when you buy the conversion kit, it's magnetic. Just snaps right onto the leg and the four prongs push into the dartboard. So plug and play, super easy to put together and tear down to move the light if needed. You also have full 360 degree ring lighting, zero shadows, 125 individual little LED lights in here. So functionality is indisputable, undeniable. It clearly works incredibly well. The color is a very white, slightly blue compared to the natural yellow sunlight effect of other lights like the Illumina. Cons include stability in my opinion. You can accidentally knock this this thing off, either the leg magnet can slip out or the prong comes loose. I've done it once or twice in a review. Final con is the cost, obviously. You're paying for the functionality of the light and the user-friendliness of mounting. But if you're on a budget, that's fine. You can save a little bit by going with the Illumina or two other options that we're about to cover. The 180 Illumina and Target Corona systems are top-notch options, but say you're on a budget and you don't care to have the best light possible. You just want something that's going to work. Here are two budget-friendly options. Number one is the Target Arc Light. Not the cabinet light, but just the light by itself, which clips to the dartboard directly. It might work for the grand board because it's a squared off tension screw meant to just clamp onto the edge of the board. You have to push all the way in and then tighten so that it can sit just at the tip top of the grand board with enough tension. There's three little prongs that are meant to kind of grip the board but it kind of stays, the lip of the front of the grand board is kind of rounded. So technically it sits and holds on the board. So I have the target arc light under the Illumina giving it more stability by accident, but if it was on its own, it'd be a little wobbly on the board. You can see the lights illuminating like half of the board. And it's certainly in danger of falling if you bump into the board or retrieve your darts too hard. Now the target arc cabinet light is a separate type of light that requires you to screw through the cabinet to secure it. What we were just reviewing was just the light by itself that clamps to the top of the dartboard. You could maybe ghetto fashion something with a soft tip cabinet with this light, which kind of brings me to option number two, the GLD Shadow Buster. This is our most budget-friendly option. It was designed to screw onto the top of a cabinet and then it can swivel downward to illuminate the board and also swivel upward and fold it all the way down to be out of the way in case your cabinet doors are a little bit taller than the top of the cabinet. And if you don't have a cabinet for your soft tip dartboard, you could still maybe purchase this light and go to your local hardware hardware store or maybe purchase a floating shelf, a little skinny minimal floating shelf online, screw it to the top of that, and as long as it's far out enough to tilt downward into your board, you're good. You could even drill little holes in the top of your floating shelf to display darts. I don't know, it could be cool. That's it folks, four total lighting options for soft tip dartboards. See you next time.